Hey guys, I just wanted to take a minute to show you a new feature added to Reaper 5.4 or 5.40. And it's called Spectrogram, which allows us a different view to view our frequencies. So let's take a look at it. Right now we're viewing the normal view. If we go to the options menu, right down here to peaks display mode, here's our normal peaks. Here we can see the spectral peaks that look like this. Now, if you notice, it's only showing up for this waveform. If that ever happens to you, you can rebuild it with the actions. Go to the actions menu, type in peaks, and right here we could rebuild them. And now we see the spectral peaks for all the tracks. Let's go back to the options menu. And the next option over here that's just been added is to show spectrogram. If we choose this, our waveforms look like this. Now I purposely chose audio with different frequency content. There's a kick drum, these are hi-hats, a bass guitar, acoustic guitar, and vocals. So that's why they look so different. But we could also tweak the colors or how they look by going back to the options menu. And we could choose the peaks display settings right here. Or we could go to the view menu and choose it right here. Peaks display settings. And from here, we can choose all the same things. Put it back to normal, spectral peaks, or spectrogram, which has just been added to 5.40. Let's tweak it a bit. We can change the height of our waveforms here. We can change the logarithmic frequency right here just by dragging it up and down, we could adjust the curve, the contrast of our colors, and the brightness. But down over here, we could shift the colors to choose a color that works best for you. This is meant to be used so you can very quickly find the frequency you want to work with. Maybe you can find the attack of your bass notes or the acoustic guitar. Just shift this around and adjust the brightness or the contrast, curve, or the logarithmic frequency to get the best view for you. And we could also right click and save our presets or load them, or we could reset it all to its default, which we could also do one by one by double clicking in any one of these. And we could reverse the spectrum right here. So high is low and low is high. Or clamp the hue at maximum brightness. And finally, we could do this on an item by item basis, just on certain items, which will save DSP or CPU processing, as you don't have to see this in your entire project. So let's put this back to normal. Let's go to our actions and let's type in spectrogram. And here we could choose actions to turn it on and off, which toggles. We could load our presets. But down over here, we could show the spectrogram just for selected items. So if I double click my hi hat to select it, I can now run this action and we just see spectrogram for that item. And again, it toggles. So you can put it back to normal. So that's pretty much it. That's the spectrogram feature added to 5.40 in Reaper. I'll see you next time.